So, if you're anything like me, you've probably been around to witness the absolute chaos that Across the Spider-Verse has caused. Yep, it's, uh, it's, it's interesting. Yeah. You might have also heard about spider Sonas, which is a character based on Spider-Man and other Spider-People, but you draw yourself. Now, I've seen some people do this for other characters or their own OCs, and I thought that would be fun. But instead, I'm sacrificing your OCs. Because I probably didn't tell you about that part, huh? When I said I'll be drawing your OCs, I didn't tell you how I would draw them. So yes, I'm holding your OCs captive, and I will turn them into Spider-People. So let the chaos begin. Keep in mind, half of these OCs were sent to me exactly two years ago, so I'm a tiny bit late. Maybe I'm not late. Maybe you guys are early. This first OC was sent to me by Artsy and Short two years ago, by the way. Uh, they sent- the first one is Frosty Penguin, and the second one is Cotton Cloudy. These are their names, by the way. I really hope you draw one of them. And I don't know if they meant to type Penguin or not, but either way, that's fine. First of all, I found these drawings so cute and kind of like endearing. I don't know if that's the right word, but these are just so sweet and I thought it'd be well funny to draw one of these as like a crime fighting, like, I don't know, like a member of the organization. So it's just so funny. I love it. I had to use a really iconic <laughs> reference for this one, but it was so much fun to draw. And I think the idea of just like drawing animals so stylized is just so funny to me. So I had to quickly just draw this one. So... Here's the finished drawing, and I hope the person that sent this to me two years ago still watches my videos, because that would actually be really sad. Like, imagine you send me your OC, and then it's, like, been two years, and then, like, you, like, delete your account, and then it's, like, that, that would be so sad. Anyways, next OC. This next OC was sent to me by Wise Girl Sketches, also two years ago, sorry. <laughs> this is their OC, Alden. Sorry if I'm saying that wrong, you know how like some people put more em emphasis on the A and then some people don't? Anyways, I'm just gonna say Alden because that- wait, what? No, sorry. <laughs> I'm just gonna say- uh, right, I don't know. Anyways, <laughs> they were recruited by someone evil who then trained him in the art of illusions, and then they run away with a serious event to do with said- anonymous evil person so they leave they're like nope bye and he spends his days on the streets casting illusions until one day he gets recruited by a group of good people to team up to help the world and find a way to stop this anonymous evil person that went way off script <laughs> doesn't matter anyways for this drawing i wanted to lean into more of an evil side of this character rather than making him look like a good guy an anti-hero if you will no I, I can hear the music i know why is the music getting, like, worse as the video goes on? Like, it gets more distorted. Anyways, I wanted him to look very intimidating and scary, even though he's not. So I did this by making the color scheme way more neon than the original OC. So the red fabric on the suspenders is replaced by a red cross that goes on the spidey suit. And I turned the saturation way too high up. It reminds me a lot of Miguel O'Hara's suit, since he's got very neon colors and the red really stands out. And I also wanted to add some form of reference to the original drawing. So... Actually, I can't record this voiceover anymore. <laughs> Anyways, um, where was I? I can't do this anymore. <sighs> right, I should get monetized for this genuinely, like, award, like, award-winning video. Where was I in the script? Right, I wanted to add some form of reference to the original drawing, so later on I added some cards floating, which could all be an illusion. I struggled with what I was going to draw on the mask. I wanted to add a spade symbol on the nose because it reminds me of skulls, but then I ended up adding diamonds under the eyes because, wait, sorry, because <laughs> I didn't want it to be too complex. Sorry, I just thought about something. Anyways, uh, can we take a moment to appreciate the shoes though? Because I don't think I've ever drawn a nicer pair of shoes in my life. Like, these look straight out of the Spider-Verse movies and it wasn't even that intentional, so... Overall, it was an absolute honour to be able to draw this OC, and I don't think I could have ever asked for a better OC to draw for this video, so... This next OC was sent to me by Lynn Sketches, and I'm sorry if I mess up the description, I kind of lost the script I had. So, from what I can remember, this OC loves spray painting and drawing, and she usually helps people in her community with painting stuff for their businesses. And from the moment I saw this OC, I knew I had to draw her, because she just reminds me of Miles a lot for some reason, because like, the whole thing about spray painting and drawing and all of that, so I just- also her design is very like- easy to turn into a spider sauna because there's like a lot of very clear like design elements you know what i mean like i can really easily translate into like some kind of like superhero design because there's like the spirals on like not the spirals like the 
the design on like the sleeves from what I can remember. I don't have a picture on me right now, but I kind of remember what she looked like. And also just like the headphones and everything. It's like very easy to turn into something else because although the drawing is really simple, there's like very clear like design elements, if that makes sense. So something that kind of saved me was this one picture I found after I was like sketching. It was this like crochet spider web thing. And I was just like, okay, I need to add this because like, I don't want to make it too boring like all the other ones I've been drawing and just, I feel like I just kind of repeat a lot of the same stuff when I draw spider sonas and when I draw characters. So I think I should probably use Pinterest a lot more to look at fashion stuff to add to my OCs because I kind of fall into the same sort of spiral of just the same thing for all of my OCs. But anyways, I saw this like crochet spider web thing so I tried to add it and I kind of almost gave up because it just wasn't looking right but then I had to like keep looking at the reference. It was a mess. But anyways, it turned out fine. It's decent. It's not the best but I also didn't want to spend too much time rendering stuff and adding way too much shading to something that doesn't really need shading. So, also something I did was instead of giving the OC some shoes, I sort of like painted the bottom bit of the the suit, if that makes sense. So instead of like actual Converse, it's like painted to look like Converse. I did something very similar when I drew a spider sona for one of my friends, Olive, because it was her birthday back in May. So I drew her a spider sona and I made a video on it. I just haven't posted it because I just can't be bothered to edit the whole thing. But I don't know, if you want to see it so desperately and so badly, I could probably finish editing and just post it. So it's not like the best video ever, it's just kind of like a process video, but I had nothing to record at the time, so I just made that video. Anyways, that, that's kind of a rant, but anyways. This OC is like probably one of the like best ones I've drawn, kind of, in terms of like the way I could translate into a spider sona. Because all the other ones, I think I kind of had to make up a lot of things that didn't quite exist. But for this one, it felt like I was genuinely turning someone's OC into a spider sona because again like the design elements were so clear in like the original OC so I didn't really have to like invent a lot of new stuff whereas for the other ones I kind of had to like make up a ton of stuff that didn't quite exist so it was very easy to translate this whole thing into a spider sona and yeah I think for the eyes for this character turned out really good because I used one of those like half tone dot brushes and I remember using them like a couple years ago before I watched Into the Spider-Verse and then I kind of gave up on it. I think after watching Across the Spider-Verse I think I just paid a lot more attention to detail and the effects and I was like I'm gonna start using half tone dots again because they're just they're just fun like I don't know what to say because I think sometimes rendering and shading kind of takes forever but adding like half tone dots is just so it's so simple but it just it adds so much I could honestly analyze across the spider verse for literally hours honestly like it's so good I might talk about that movie later in the video I'm not quite sure but anyways here's how this character turned out and I don't have a name for this character so if you could leave some suggestions and maybe Lynn can choose one in the comments I'm not sure anyways last OC in the entire video this OC was sent to me by Mira Doodles, which by the way, I think Mira has been on a break from YouTube for a very long time because of some personal things. I hope she's okay. And yeah, her channel is really nice, by the way, you should check it out. She says, this is my OC Lana. I don't have much to say about her except to what's on the paper, but I really love her pink hair. And honestly, so do I, because I felt bad for designing a spider sona because usually spider sonas, their hair gets covered up. From like their masks and all that but as you can see from the ocs in today's video i've not been sticking to that rule because these aren't practical but you know what it's fine it doesn't matter if they're not practical so forget hammer space forget the spider-man mask this is not practical it's just fun so i struggled so much with the pose for this drawing i had to redraw it like a million times but then eventually i settled on this pose because i saw that she had a lollipop which by the way i don't think mira should have done that because i took that and i went okay one tiny lollipop what if we just amplify this by like a million and turn it into a whole weapon so that's what i did and basically this weapon can detect what universe you're supposed to be in and then it sends an alert if you're like an anomaly kind of it's very similar to like the go home machine like not that big machine in across the spider verse it's very similar to that but it's just more of like a detector instead of like an actual portal 
thing. Anyways, I got really upset at one point because I thought the colors would mesh together really badly and then I didn't want, you know, one color to overpower everything else. Especially because this OC has like gray cargos and because of like the angle of this pose, it's mainly just that. So I didn't want the whole thing to just kind of look gray. But I also didn't want there to be too much pink or too much blue and also because of the hair. The hair was like massive so that also added a lot of pink to it but i think it turned out really good like this might be one of my favorite in terms of like the colors and the effects and all that while i'm here i'm gonna talk about how it went when i went with my two friends to go watch across the spider verse let me set the scene there's eight minutes until the train leaves me and one of my friends olive are there at the station we're like outside the station because we don't want to like be in the station in case my other friend doesn't see us so me and olive are outside the train station there's eight minutes till the train eight minutes until the train just goes by and just leaves our friend didn't show up and then we get a phone call from our friend there's like five minutes like less than five minutes till the train we get a phone call from this friend and she's like where are you guys and we're like we're outside the station, what do you mean? And she's like, oh, I'm like inside the train station. And we're like, you what? So we run on like inside the, in, like into the train station, right? The Spider-Man into this train station. And then that friend is like at the bridge. You know how like there's like the bridge to like cross between the two like sort of like platforms thing. She's on the bridge. She has to run down. Me and my friend are on the train. The train is about to leave. We like peer across like the door, like, you know, like, we like peek out like the door because the door's open and she's like running to get on the train <laughs> and then she ran on and there's like no seats there's like some seats at the back so we just kind of like sat there the minute that we sit down like i'm talking the second we sit down the train leaves so if like our friend hadn't called us i don't think we'd like have gotten on the train she would have just like sat there and just like watched the train leave so it gets it only gets worse from here because we went to like once we got to the the place we went to buy snacks before we like went in and obviously we had to like hide the snacks but anyways we went to buy snacks and then one of that not that same friend olive i'm talking about olive olive lost her phone and her movie ticket first of all it was the phone first of all it was like oh my god guys i lost my phone we need to go back we went back looked for the phone we found the phone we were leaving again and she's like oh guys i lost my movie ticket we go in we look for the movie ticket the movie ticket's not there but it's fine because the guy still let us in because we had all bought like a ticket together so he just scanned the ticket and he was like what seat is it so we just told him the seat number and he was like yeah okay it's fine so watching the actual movie was just incredible only thing is i forgot my glasses because like i don't need glasses i just i only need them if i want to see with actual good detail like i can watch a movie without glasses i can go to the cinema without glasses it's fine but i just can't see it that well with detail like with like precision if that makes sense so i spent the whole morning being like okay i can't forget my glasses i can't forget them i can't forget them i can't forget them what do i do i'm on the train olive goes hey did you bring your glasses i'm like no I, I did not bring my glasses. So basically, Orla had glasses, which is the friend that, you know, almost had to run on the train. That friend, she was like, okay, I've got my glasses. So basically, we just have to, we had to, like, keep swapping glasses. So, like, I think she was really excited for when, like, Pav appeared. So basically, I had the glasses, and then I was like, okay, here's your glasses. Like, take them so she could see Pav. And then when Hobie came up, I was like, okay, Orla, glasses now. I was, like, snapping my fingers. So, like, whenever our favorite character would, like, appear, we had to, like, swap glasses. But I kind of let her have the glasses the whole time because i just didn't want to be like can i have the glasses again and she'd be like no so i don't want to be like annoying i didn't want to be a burden so i just let her watch the movie with quality and i was just like hey I, what's happening i can't really see that well but it's fine one of the best compliments slash insults i've ever gotten was orla being like you look like the peter parker that died in gwen's universe and i was like thank you question mark no but like the audience that was in the cinema they, they were just so funny like there was this one kid that like whenever something would happen they'd be like they ate that up or like i think orla shouted after the ads they were like oh my god they ate that up and also they would they would right you know how there's like the ads before the movie they would all clap after the ads but then they never clapped when the movie ended which was like kind of weird because it's like woo, another car advert and then when the movie ended they were just kind of silent and I was like, what? Anyways, yeah, no, they were so funny. They also shouted the, the iconic tiktok line which like i won't say because it's like it's really funny i think you need to kind of like experience it for yourself like when 
kind of a spoiler by the way when miles like tells his mom he's like mom i'm spider-man this one kid shouted the line i'm talking the line it was so funny but like it caught me so off guard because like i didn't even know that it was like a thing that people did but like apparently like some people have done that when they go to the cinema i don't know like whenever something would happen you could always hear like a couple of people whispering something like it was just so fun and also yeah they were all like really chill by the way so, but thing is orla shouted really badly when the movie ended she was like really calm she was really chill and then the minute we stepped outside the cinema she let out the most terrifying heart scream i've ever heard in my entire life like i'm i swear on my life i've never heard someone yell that badly like it sounded like she had just died and everyone was like staring like people across the road were staring because it looked like she had just gotten murdered like she was yelling so badly and i was like shut up like it, it was kind of annoying but honestly that was so real <laughs> Like, that was my internal reaction to the movie because it ended on a cliffhanger. So, also, nah, because, like, <laughs> after we finished watching the movie, me and my friends went to this, like, one park and we had, like, an hour or something until the train left again. So, we just kind of had to wait for, like, an hour. We were at this park and we were talking about the movie and then I looked towards like my right and on my hand there's the weirdest spider I've ever seen in my life and I thought it would be so wise instead of looking at it or just like hitting it away I decided to slam my hand into the grass which by the way was not like oh my god soft like tall grass like nah this was like I just I smacked my hand on the grass and I was like guys there's a spider and it looked really weird and we talk about the spider verse and i was like hopefully it, did, it, did, it didn't bite me like let's just hope and then we were on the train and we saw these people from like our school and it was really weird and they were all just like like yeah it was not fun but anyways we're on the train and then i think we were all going a bit crazy because like throughout like the whole noise of the train and people talking it's like really loud there's never like a moment of silence it's just always like the train moving the wind people talking but like faintly we could always hear like the beginning of the spider-man 2099 theme like the Doo -doo 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 -doo, that thing whatever that thing is we kept hearing that and we're like oh no he's gonna come and find us because i got bit by a spider and then the worst bit is like the whole day after that my hand was fine but then the arm the that hand is like connected to i don't know how else to word it it just went numb like it progressively got more numb as the day progressed and i was like uh oh <laughs> what was that what was that spider doing like what was what huh but yeah the coincidence is very funny and um yeah that, I don't know why I had to share that story, but I just did, so. I, I also went to see the movie twice, but I forgot my glasses the first time, so this time I brought my glasses. I need that movie to consume my soul, I swear. I love that movie, and I love this video, and I like these drawings, and I think they look cool. I mean, they're not the best, looking back on it. I think I was very proud of them last week, and now I'm not proud of them. But that's all for this video, so here are the finished ones. And I'm working on a part two, by the way, so if I haven't drawn your OC yet, it's fine. I might draw it soon, so if you've not sent me an OC before, you can send it to my email. It's in the description. So anyways, I'm the worst at outros, so... This voiceover is actually shit. Anyways, this next OC was also sent to me. Wait, what? Sorry. 